I'm Mark Glasser, son of Lillian Glasser, a victim of guardianship abuse and elder abuse and financial exploitation. Before I start, I would like to thank my mother, Lillian Glasser, for imbuing in me her courage and fighting spirit. Thank you to the servants in these hallowed halls who have enabled our voices to be heard today. Among villains were heroes, reporters John McCormick, Ralph Blumenthal, and attorney director Mary Nell Maloney. The faith of our impassioned leader, Latifa Ring, has inspired those of us who have been swept aside to believe that we can overcome. Mother was granny napped to Texas and held in captivity. Family members she called for help suspected an attempt to control her $27 million. We couldn't call the FBI. Rights of senior citizens are not recognized, not even constitutional rights. This was before the formal removal of those rights in state court. I called David Lawrence, head of the business intelligence group at Goldman Sachs. He had taken a power of attorney from my mother. He promised to call mother. An hour later, a call came from Texas telling me not to call my mother. It was then that I knew that Goldman Sachs had sold my mother, Lillian Glasser, down the San Antonio River. I deposited money. The bank called a taxi so my mother could get money to fly home. Police intercepted mother's taxi and insisted she be put in guardianship. Mother was isolated from family and friends denied phone calls, visitors, and physical therapy, drugged with massive doses of Seroquel. Doctors testified she was subjected to psychological torture and held in captivity. Goldman Sachs monitored her plight and used elaborate cover-up tactics. In a year in Texas, mother paid five attorneys and three experts to protect her. There were 22 days of court hearings. Mother cried out, borrowing cell phones from sympathetic caregivers. Family and friends paid 20 attorneys to try to free her. A reporter heard Lillian Glasser's anguished cries. His front page stories exposed her plight. After the press attention, mother was returned home, a prisoner of guardianship. Her home state of New Jersey hosted a 35-day, 10-trial, 10-lawyer trial on capacity. The financial exploitation and elder abuse continued. She paid almost $5 million to be declared incapacitated. New Jersey appointed two guardians. Medical records are sent to a list of Morgan Stanley brokers. She is denied access to her own doctors and has less rights than a felon on death row. Mother pays two guardians and two attorneys. Legal fees exceed 10 million. Her assets have diminished by 14 million. Interests of the guardian are paramount. Doctors are selected for convenience. Upkeep and guardianship fees each cost a million a year. Additionally, an Edwards and Angel attorney who covered up for Goldman Sachs in this case aided and abetted tax evasion and was an accomplice in an attempt to defraud mother of 600,000 while protecting Goldman Sachs, Drinker, Biddle, and Riath have billed mother almost $2 million. This case shows how American Arbitration Association clauses inflict financial pain and legal terror on family members. Three lawyers are suing me. My legal expenses exceed $1 million. Legal terror has devastated my life. Please enact legislation now to protect the rights of our senior citizens. May Lillian Glasser not have suffered in vain. Thank you.